Hey y'all, this is Walt. I'm in a Fayetteville, Arkansas, beautiful spring day, and it's an exciting day. There's a buzz in the air in Fayetteville. Hogs are playing a game tonight to punch a ticket to the Final Four. Um, I don't think you can talk about Razorback basketball. I don't think you can talk about college basketball without talking about Nolan Richardson. Nolan Richardson brought a national championship home to Fayetteville in 1994. 1985, University of Arkansas hired Nolan Richardson. He was the first black coach to ever be hired by the N Southwestern Conference. Nolan Richardson didn't just win a national championship at Arkansas. He also won a junior college national championship he also won an NIT National Championship, Tulsa. And he won one at Arkansas. Only coach in basketball history to win all three. But in history, maybe more important. I'm going to go with more important. 1966, right there, the height of the Civil Rights Movement. Don Haskins had a starting five of all black players at Texas Wesleyan, now known as UTEP, University of Texas, El Paso. And they made it to the national championship against Adolph Rupp's Kentucky Wildcats. They were kind of known as Rupp's Runts. Now, Adolph Rupp was your traditional obstructionist they didn't recruit black players at Kentucky in those days. Um, they, you know, it's now Rupp Arena. So I'm not wanting to necessarily pick on him because uh, there weren't any black players at the SEC at that point. Um, it's kind of the norm. But this isn't to exonerate his racist ass either. Regardless of... Oh, I remember Rod, one of Rod Hundley's quotes about uh, Texas Wesleyan and the black players before the game was, they can do everything with the basketball but sign it. So there you go. Um, they beat Kentucky. First all but black team to win a national championship. And uh, what was it that uh, Nolan Richardson said? He said if there was ever a Ever a day the basketball made a turn. That was it. Uh, Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Uh, hog ball is what he brought here. 40 minutes of hell. Those guys scrapped for that basketball. They, Nolan had the philosophy. I think it's a winning one. If you got that shot, take it. Throw it up there. More times you throw it up towards the rim, more times you catch your fish and pull out of the boat and into the water, more chances you have to catch a fish. You shoot that three, more threes you shoot, more three-pointers you're going to make. It's hired in 1985. It was 11, no, it was nine years later that he won that national championship. He won, I believe... I think he was in four Final Fours. Let's see, Todd Day, Lee Mayberry. And I remember one there, maybe three. I know there were two there back to back because the year after we won the national championship, we played against UCLA. Mm, one of those people with their Google machine in front of them can do. But y'all might challenge me on a few of these dates. I'm thinking it was 66 for UTEP. And I think, and I know it was 94 for the Hogs. We're back there in 95. That's when I moved to Fayetteville. That's what brought me to Fayetteville. Wanted to get some good tickets to Hog Ball. I was on the front row of every fucking game. Excuse my language. Damn, I just ruined a good video with the F word. Lou, I'm sorry. You're right. But uh, first take always goes. Y'all, let's go Hogs. Let's not forget about Nolan and Hog Ball. Uh, Eric Busterman's playing some Hog Ball right now. We're loving it. Um, we got a great team out there. Real high basketball IQ. They um, really see the court well. They play great defense. Supposed 40 minutes of hell. That national championship team in 66, they were known for defense. Kentucky liked to run the gun. Um, Y'all, that's a... Uh,
speaking of doing good and seeking justice, Nolan Richardson's done a, a lot of things for uh, justice. There were some hard times when he first got here in 85. His daughter, his daughter Yvonne, eventually uh, gave way to uh, cancer and uh, passed away. Uh, we now have the uh, Yvonne Richardson Center here in Fayetteville. Uh, over there next to where I like to uh, build food boxes with St. James, the historic St. James Missionary Baptist Church, and uh, I vote at the Yvonne Richardson Center. Um, named in her honor. But gosh, sports riders and the rednecks then were all over doing all of Richardson. Trying to run him out of town. Because when he got here, changing basketball styles, we, we lost a few games. And uh, they were trying to run him out of town. His flat out racist. They called him every name in the book. All this time his daughter was fighting cancer. And people, one night he said that, uh, Fayetteville doesn't have much to offer a black athlete to come. And oh God, the pushback was incredible. Why is he complaining about race? Shut up. Race mater, race mater. A lot of people, Nolan Richardson loves horses. And he had a very, very, his, his pet horse, real tight to him. Those racist motherfuckers shot his, shot his horse. They shot his horse. He might have a little right to say something about race. All right. That's all I'm going to say there. Some things never change, do they? We're going to keep, keep fighting. Keep fighting for black liberation. Keep fighting for equality and equity for all. Keep fighting for the hogs. Go hogs. Woo! Pig suey.